delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi and today I'm going to teach you how to make some amazing burgers. They are delicious. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a pound of ground beef, some sprigs of rosemary, half a cup of oats, and two tablespoons of mustard. I'm using Dijon mustard. To this, we are going to add two tablespoons of chipotle barbecue sauce. And this is a delicious barbecue sauce. You can use the one you have at home and it doesn't have to be spicy. Plus, I'm adding a teaspoon of Shispachi's pork spice mix. You can do any spice mix you want. Then, all you have to do is mix all that meat with the egg, the spice, the barbecue sauce, the oats, and the mustard. That's it. Those are all the ingredients. Our patties are gonna be delicious on their own. They're gonna be amazing. You and everyone in the family is gonna love them. Now, we divide our pound in four. Because we wanna make eighth of a pound burgers. These are gonna be small, but we're trying to make smaller burgers. Somebody wants a big one, they can have two, but the ones that don't want such a big burger don't have to have half, but we eat a smaller patty. That's it. So here, with my burger press, I press the burgers, and voila, an amazing and beautiful burger, ready to be frozen and used any time. I can also use them fresh, of course. And after we press all of our burgers, we put them on a sheet pan in the freezer. Once they're hardened enough, then we put them in bags or containers that are tightly sealed. This is it. Making patties is amazing. Making delicious patties is out of this world. Check this out. I love it. Now we're going to start making our delicious burgers. We're going to take out our patty from our freezer at any time, right before serving. It takes two to three minutes for it to defrost in the pan directly. So I just add some olive oil or olive oil spray into my pan and place my frozen patty directly on it. If you left it in the fridge and it's defrosted, that's perfect too. Here goes the patty straight to the pan. Since mine is frozen, I'm going to cover the pan for two minutes so that the center of the patty is all completely defrosted. Check this out. It is already all defrosted, very tender in the middle. And all we have to do now is just give it a golden light, delicious golden crust. These are burgers you can eat anytime. You won't even increase a cinch or an inch of weight while you're eating the bread. So now I'm heating some sun-dried tomatoes that I've made and you can watch the recipe on another video that I have. These are sun-dried tomatoes that I make in the oven and I'm just heating them. I love to have my leafy greens, vegetables, spreads, and anything that I'm going to add to my burger already at room temperature so that I don't get a warm burger with a freezing cold lettuce or something like that. In the bottom, we added some of our mustard. Perfect for this. Now, some creamy guacamole. And there's another recipe there that you can see. And what you can do if you have a regular guacamole is just squish it a little more, just so that you can spread it on top and it doesn't fall all over. That's a lot of guac, because remember, the burgers are not huge burgers. Then we add all of these delicious mustard greens, and we're gonna make an amazing meal with a lot of greens, a lot of healthy food, delicious flavors. The flavors are amazing and not a huge amount of beef. So we can use less beef, but everybody feels they're eating that delicious burger anyways. It looks like a lot of leaves, but it, it's, look, look at it. It's perfect once you cut it out. It's amazing, delicious. Here 
comes our second burger. And this is the one we're going to use the roasted tomatoes with. So I have one bread only. I'm doing an open burger with the sun-dried tomatoes on top. And that bread has been toasted. I like to lightly toast my bread for my burgers. Now we're adding a tablespoon of plain yogurt. And you can also use tzatziki, which is exactly what I use there. Or just a plain yogurt with a little bit of salt and pepper and some kale. A couple of beautiful kale leaves is all you need. Check that out. It's so good. I made a mess of myself and they were delicious. Remember, the shapachi, delicious food, amazing meat. Enjoy!